Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survival this, and we return to Call of the Wild. Where we're going to switch up our kind of main focus from wolves to bears now. We're going to go after grizzlies tonight. So, let me see. Well, my... Oop, shoot. Gotta be careful what I do. Okay, the shotgun and the handgun are not going to be powerful enough to go after bears. What we need is a... There we go, the 338. And we might actually just be good with that. So I know the 338. Um, yeah, let's uh, see. I think we want the better penetration. Yeah, we're going to want to really. Oh, no, actually, I think that's the best scope I've got right now. Our calls look good. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. So we just got to set ourselves up a little bit. Okay, so bow, crossbow, rifle. In you go there, in you go there. And I think there's nothing else really to add. Although I suppose I could just see. We got the antler. Uh, we got the bleat. We got the grunt. We got the moose. And we got the fawn. So let's switch out the fawn. Oh, no, actually, yeah, we're going to keep the fawn. Okay, so we should be all good to do a little bit of bear hunting. Now, as you guys saw last week... Call of the Wild has some interesting quirks and bugs from time to time, so... You have to sort of play with what you get at times, but this week we're just going to do a little bit going after grizzly bears and see what you guys are thinking of how Call of the Wild's been going. I mean, truth be told, if we look at the... Uh, reserves, I don't really want to get any more DLC because... I mean, this was an older DLC and it's still pretty buggy, so I'm prefer not to really go back to stuff like that, but we've kind of gone through Hirschfeld Inn, Leighton Lake, Yukon Valley. We did a little bit on Medved Taiga. I may actually go back to that one, because there is some stuff that we haven't seen there. But we'll see what you guys think of things and how you're thinking. It may even be that we'll just do, maybe find a replacement series or a different game to do on Fridays for, well, I mean, I guess Double Feature Fridays have sort of lost their, uh, Oomph, now that we've got a couple of videos going out Tuesdays and Thursdays as well, huh? I'm sure we'll figure something out. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. And that's just a bush? I guess so. Kind of lost the light there when you look down the binoculars, but... Yeah, so we'll see exactly what you guys would like to see. If you do want more Call of the Wild, or if you'd like something else, or you have... Again, any suggestions or anything you would think I would enjoy or you guys would like to see me play, you just let me know and we'll try to include it onto the channel. So we got a little bit of a track from something over here. Now this area is generally pretty, uh, pretty heavy for bear activity. This entire eastern area here, I found a lot of grizzly activity before. Whether they are actually still around here or not is hard to say. There was something going up along the water's edge. Oh. Red fox, apparently. I say there's grizzly activity. Instead, we have just, like, little fox. Oh, that was just a duck need zone. And I think this is just some more fox tracks, isn't it? Or fox. Oh, no. Duck droppings. Like, I've never really gone after waterfowl or ducks, so that might be something I could also try looking at doing as well. Maybe do an episode of waterfowling. If you guys know a good spot for it, recommend me to get my feet wet of sorts with that. Yeah, it's just more duck crap, so... We'll just get back to the main road and keep... Well, main trail. We're not exactly on a proper road out here. But we'll just see what we can find go a little bit. Okay. Well, actually, I should make sure that our ammo is actually all right qual or right caliber and right sizing. So that's correct. That's correct. Okay, so everything's looking good for that. Now all we need to do is find the animals. Or let them find us. I don't know if we'll actually encounter any wolves in this area or not. After all the run-ins last week with, like, how many different packs we were facing and... I'm basically the massacre that we were doing up against them. I'd prefer not to find more wolves. I'd settle for grizzlies. 
One will overwhelm you with sheer strength, the other in numbers. At least for strength, if you got a strong weapon, you can put, you can basically challenge that might yourself, but. She was calling from somewhere up ahead. So we'll just see if we can go find her. I do want to try using the longbow more for a few hunts, so we'll see if we can use that to get a few nice animals with it. And I don't think we're going to make this episode too long either. I'd like to try to keep them from taking too long to upload is my internet package. I still got to look again and upgrade. Maybe more towards end of the year is like a Christmas. Well, I say Christmas present, but it's more like it's a present to the company I... My service provider, because I'd be paying them more money for a better package. We'll see as things go along. Well, we'll just kind of work our way slowly through and along. No, actually, I'm going to take that off because I keep on... There we go. Not sure why it wouldn't let me get that off as easily, but... I just seem to ex instinctively have number five as the binoculars I keep trying for, so... Let's work with our instincts instead of fighting them. Oh, no, don't need the first aid kit. At least not yet. Hunting bears, more than likely you're going to need it. I wonder... I haven't even seen anything like a trail either, so that's a little odd for trying to go after this bear. I mean, the mating calls can always come from quite a distance off, but I was kind of expecting we might see the trail, or at least, like, some tracks by now. I'm actually just even going to walk and get a little more distance into the bush here, because we are... Uh, we still got quite a ways to really go off before we're at the edge of the map, but this is a little bit off from the main trail. But no warning calls, no tracks, just that random mating call out of nowhere. Doesn't seem to be paying off for us trying to go after her this way, does it? Hmm. I'm going to have to reassess and figure out a different way to go. No, that's just a fallen tree. Almost thought for a second it was like a shed antlers or something. Well, I guess we're going to try going north and just see what we can kind of find. At least if we're walking through the woods like this, maybe we'll get a warning call from something that we spook by all the noise we make. That is one way to find an animal if you are having a bit of trouble. Green shore rise. It's just frighten the animals, that way they cry out like... They're asking for help, and then you can start narrowing down, going towards them. Until you hit that point, though, sometimes you just gotta roam and wander around a bit. Yeah, binoculars aren't really going to do us... Oh, I keep forgetting that... Shift is our jump. I remember I... From going back and forth between carnivores and this game, I kept on thinking shift was the run from... Oh, shoot. God darn it. Got working on limited space, so I apologize for anything like the mic noise or stuff like that. Don't mean to, just kind of happens with my arms sort of like in a little cage there to reach the mouse. Oh, there we go. Took a little while, but we got our first tracks here.
Oh, quite a few. So we at least have a lead towards something. And it's a grizzly. Is that the female? No, oh, seems to be it could be. Seems to be it could be. Ah, and my commentary is just getting better and better the more I do this, isn't it? Okay, so there was a need zone here. At least I... Yeah, I don't think I have the foliage tracking one. Bingo, rest zone. Although, truth be told, that's pretty way out of our timing. Is that supposed to be during the middle of the day? And we're actually closer to something than I thought we'd be. Oh, a lot closer than I thought we'd be. Okay, so we got a grizzly right down there. She's not exactly stopping, though, so we might have to... How far off is she? See, it uh, looked like that one hit pretty far back on her. I think that might have been, like, a uh, gut shot. Although, the tr Actually, that might have been a vital. The spray's not that bad. But that was definitely the one that we heard call before. So that's one of the things I hate, is if you're going to try going after an animal, you really gotta watch it when they're moving and you take your shot. Because sometimes it almost feels like there's a bullet lag. So let's go and see what that's like. So that was a bit of decent spray from her. Yeah, that was actually... Okay, so that was definitely a vital. And more than likely, she'll be down in just a little bit here. I'm just going to see about... Yeah, I'll make that our mission will track, because this will be pretty easy to do. We should have our first one once we catch up to her. Yeah, she's going to go down quick. I'm not sure if I've actually sent, seen a blood trail with anything more than the medium, like, uh, bleed rate. I'd imagine that anything higher would have to basically be dropping it in an instant. Here she is. Yeah, to me, when... It, we'll be able to get a good look. I wasn't sure... Oh, actually, she spun around, so maybe we won't be able to get as good a look as I thought we would. Like, to me, the arrow seemed to be almost more towards her rear flank here, so let's see. Yeah, that's a kind of bizarre shot, but... I mean, we'll take it. It still counted, so... I at least managed to get her down, although, gotta admit, the face is kind of weird on her. Although, truth be told, I think the only time you really see a grizzly's face is more in documentaries when they're angry and snarling at you, so... Maybe their faces are a little more dopey when they're calm and relaxed. God, I'm still not used to all the sound effects that play when they give you your, like, weapon score. Like, before it used to just be complete silence if things would go through or not. And do I... Yeah, so I put the perk into there. So I've got one more perk to go in there, and I've got the archery's skills all up to max. Uh, let's see, rifles. I want the two in there. Uh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, nothing else needed in there. And the survival instinct's not bad, but that might even be one I could try to get... Ah, uh, no, I'll probably keep so I can have the ranger. Although, this is one right here. The recycle here is... It feels like it's harder to get that one done for some reason. I'm not sure it's missed shots you can recover easier than ones that are actually in the animals, or it's just that you have one hitbox overlapping the other, so you can't really register reclaiming the sh arrows. But, we're already right back to the main trail, which is good, so we can... Hop our way up onto there, and we'll just follow these up for a while. I mean, I probably don't have to jump, but it gives me something to do. Yeah, kind of speeds us up instead of having to slow down to make that little... Fairly large step up, if I'm honest. Oh, 
Well, something that's a little weird is you'd imagine it's more your landing that make a lot of sound, but the game seems to register the initial jump. Why does the initial jump make more sound than you just landing? Like, that is weird. Anywho, we'll keep going north and just see if we can find anything else off the trail or near the trail. The best bet is if you don't have anything specific you're going after, just walk a trail and see if you can find anything that's crossed it or somewhere nearby. I probably would recommend not doing a lot of night hunting, unless maybe you've like found a rest zone for something, just because it's, again, kind of annoying to try to find animals when you can't see the tracks as easily. But we'll just keep going on our way up and see what we eventually can find. I'm hoping to at least get one more bear that we can say we've actually done a mission on a video for once. And then see what the feedback is with the series and what we'll do going forward. Okay, now I'll probably just hear in my own footsteps or my gear shuffling. I actually included sound effects for stuff like that, so you'd be surprised that you might hear yourself... Kind of clattering or jingling from time to time. Yeah, I still, I'll have to figure out what I want to do as the second thing on Fridays. Because I feel like Fridays are a good day to give two videos up on it. I just don't know what the second video should be. I, again, don't want to overload on carnivore stuff. So I'm only going to have the three mods ongoing at a time. I don't think I want to do... Like, if I'm going to do multiple, like videos of a mod a day, I'd probably just make one very long one, then two... Oh. Oh, okay, he sounds kind of close. Okay, we're going to call. We'll get ready with our longbow. I think this is a longbow. I don't think it's a recurve. I actually don't think there even is a recurve in... Oh no, there is a recurve in the... Bah, recurve. Recurve bow in the game. It's that hu-yi, or hu yi Not sure the exact pronunciation of it, but... We can see about trying to call in this big guy, wherever he is. Sounded like he was pretty close with the warning call, so... Now we just kind of got to sit and wait and see if we can pull him in. He did give a warning call, so he's probably alert and cautious right now. Means it may respond, it might not. Truthfully, I don't think it's probably a very high scoring animal if it did make a warning call. I don't think the higher scoring ones make calls as often or like at all. Part of some of the challenge to them. Yeah, I can actually stand up because I'm com I'm hidden by the tree here. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's not bad actually. A medium. Quite a way to bring in though. Yeah, there he is, just kind of plopping along. Come on, you heard the call. Come get dinner. I mean, truth be told, I could probably use the rifle on him, but our mission needs us to use a crossbow or a bow. Well, I got, already got the nice crossbow for the... Uh, i trying to remember, what would a female bear be called? I th I want to think the male is something like a Bruin, like B-R-U-I-N, or... <sighs> Actually, I think that's the only... I'm not even sure if that's correct or not. I'm not sure what you would call the difference between, like, a male bear and a female bear. 
I know there are distinct terms for it. Like, everything hunting-wise has distinct terms. Like, it's a white-tailed doe, a white-tailed buck, a... Actually, I think there's even, like, stag is another one for them. There's, let's see, a moose cow or a moose bull. I think there's even, like, a sow, but I'm not sure if that's more for, like, a pig, like, wild boar or not. Yeah, like I say, there's so many terms and things. Like, I'm pretty sure for turkeys it's, like, a tom or a jake or something. Oh, okay, so now you're... Now you're not exactly coming closer, you're just kind of plopping along your same route. Oh, maybe... It's hard to say, he's... Oh, we got a nice, actually, bit of pretty snowfall coming down, too, so that's nice. Oh. Okay, there you are. Oh, come on in. Really hoping we would have been able to bring him in. I mean, he definitely hears us. He doesn't seem to be able to see us or smell us. The wind's not leading towards him. Okay, okay, yeah, he's really coming in now. He... He's stopped dead in his tracks. Ah. No, he's coming. He's coming. I actually heard the echo of his roar from back that way. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Down just like that. I love the bit of, like, attention, like, sound design where you heard the echo. You guys might not have been able to hear it as much. Like, headphones might make the difference there, but it really did sound like he called, and you could hear the echo coming back from the mountains that are over to that area there. Can we get the arrow back? No. See, that's what problem I have with that skill. It's like the arrow needs a larger detection box or something. How are you looking, big guy? Just a bronze. Oh, okay, actually, went further back than I was aiming for. I was trying to get both lungs. Unfortunately, it was more through all of the guts and that. What do you mean, improper ammo? What? I have to double check that, because I'm pretty sure we were using the highest ammo possible on this. Yeah, we'll take that in. Oh, a new mission. Harvest Grey Wolf down from that, and earn a silver. Harvest Grizzly down from 50 or more, earn a silver. Okay. Well, I gotta check that. Isn't this error... Like, I just thought I put in the best. Yeah, this is for 8 to 9. Are you telling me that Grizzly Bear is not actually, like, the highest game animal? Um, Ground Bear? No, it's Grizzly. Really? It's only... It's only a class 7. So I would have actually needed to use the 540 traditional arrow on it. I really wish it was not as darn difficult as they make it to know what ammo for what animals. Like, damn. It's kind of where I miss the Hunter Classic where it just gave you like a little spreadsheet of this is your species of animal, these are your weapons, and these are what are yes you can, no you can't. It's like, ah. It's kind of a pain now to do that. Okay, well let's switch these down now that we actually know that we need a lower... Oh, so the 600 will work for the crossbow, it just won't work for the longbow. Yeah, I wish they would just make it so much easier. This is for small game, this is for... Big game. This is for biggest game. Yay, yay, yay. Whatever. Maybe we'll see if we can get uh, another grizzly in uh, maybe a few minutes. But 
I really have to... Res I gotta give it the developers of the game, though, for managing to make a map that has basically, like, two seasons to it, where you have... The entire map can be coated under a layer of snow, or it can be completely green and, like, spring weather. It's amazing that they were able to pull this off. I don't know how they did it, either. I'm not sure if it's something like... Once the weather kicks in, it starts, like transitioning to a second map that has all the texture, or it's just like lightly layered on. That's a really fantastic experience to actually go on and hunt on. Because it almost feels like it is two different maps in one because of how much the snow really changes the map in a way. Oh, we got more tracks here. So maybe we'll actually be able to get one more thing before we end today's episode. I... Oh, yeah, it's another bear. Another grizzly. Well, we got the proper ammo this time for the longbow, so let's see if we can get that. Now, it's hard to say where she might be, because the other bear that, or the first female that we took on, I almost want to say Sal, but I don't think that's quite right. Oh. Okay, so she's all the way over there. Actually, truth be told, I could probably use the rifle for this, can't I? Yeah, all I gotta do is, I mean, I don't think she'll be a silver, though. Well, we can still try it. Nope, oh, we're walking into the tree there. Oh shoot, I was actually not crouched and moving. She probably ran off because we were making too much noise, but we'll just get over there and see. That's another thing, is, like, you can see this nice big square chunk in the bottom right there. That would be perfect for, like, a stance and if you're running or not. That'd be really nice to see as a little indicator instead of just trying to guess on how high or, like, what your character's standing is based on your surroundings. I'm not sure why they actually let that little chunk there. Usually, most HUDs or UIs, you tend to not want to leave gaps or little spaces around your elements, just so that way it's all sort of neater and tidy. This is... Again, it's kind of weird there's that chunk missing there. I don't think there's actually anything for there to like, occupy that either. Nope, nope. Didn't mean that. Okay, it looks like she definitely went running off because of all the noise we were making as we were running. Although, I, I gotta admit, it's a little strange, though, that the wolves are more aggressive than the bears in the game. Like, something I probably talked about either last week or when I was actually uh, going up against their kind of packs is that wolves don't actually really have that many recorded attacks with humans. They more generally don't engage or involve with people. So they usually just kind of like run off or keep mostly to themselves. Attacks only, I think, if they are being recorded more, more recently. And I think that's more because of... I'm not sure if it's because, like, population dynamics of their prey. Like, I know one thing that's really hammering the deer and moose population are that chronic wasting disease. That is horrible when you actually learn what it entails and what it does to the poor animals. But if the food sources are getting a lot thinner, then you gotta eat one way or the other. And oftentimes the other can be your unfortunate person who is in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Okay, so she's in just a trot right now, so we might actually be able to try to get her to reply back. Mm, 
Yeah, I'm going to basically try. We'll get her and then we'll end the episode off. I don't want it to go too long just because I've got a few other things I'd like to get done and I don't want it quite taking forever to get the upload through when the all is said and done. So where'd you go? Kept running. Look, I thought for an instant it almost looked like the grass there was parting. This is a bit of a hill. Don't want to go too quickly, just because I don't know where she might be. Being a lower scoring animal too, I think that they sort of... Like, for beginner friendliness, I think if it's a lower scoring animal, they're more reckless and will not stay as alert as long and might not have as good detection for things. So it's almost a way to kind of gauge your experience is how easily are you or how are you doing getting higher scoring animals it's not something quite like it's all the animals are set at this certain amount of detection skills or what they'll pick up and how they'll react but as they get higher scoring they get more difficult to hunt just kind of something sort of in general Yeah, she's been going for a while, and I don't see any movement in the distance. Haven't heard any calls either. Thought maybe if we were a little too close to her, she'd make a warning call, and that would let us at least hone in to know where she is, but... She's still trotting her way away. Definitely taking us uphill, though. Oh. Okay, there's our call, but it might be that she's on... She's either in the trees or she's on the other side of the hill. Can't really tell, and with the... Oh, well, it is getting a little brighter. I guess day's starting to come, starting to break here. Let's see. I say that's midnight, so maybe day's not breaking exactly yet. Oh, she is doing some weird stuff. So it does seem like there might be actually like a little dip ahead. I mean, the map's not really helpful for letting us know that, but the fact that it's almost looking like it's coming through the ground. I just can't see any sort of sign of her. Oh, hang on. Something popped up for a moment there. There she is. Okay, so that should have been a hit. Oh, I can't see. Gonna get the bow and arrow out. I wanna head up and see what that was. I hope that was a lung, because that seemed like it was straight on for... Should have been for something. I don't think it was through her head. I definitely think that should have been a... Okay, so she, she was somewhere up around here. So a bit of droppings from her. Tracks. 
Oh, we got a second trail of something. Oh, another bear that was to have been around here, too. A lot of droppings. Okay, so where is the blood? So we got the shot off. Oh, right here. Ah, oh, really? Didn't count as anything more than a... Oh, no, that is a medium bleed rate. Well, there she is. Yes, yeah, so let's see how we did with her. I'm guessing it's probably through one of the lungs. That's... Although... Okay, maybe that's just the shadow on her. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for, is just a nice front lung shot like that. So, there's another one hunted. So, we'll take that and end this episode here. A nice little grizzly bear hunt, a uh, way to spend a little bit of time. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Call of the Wild. And if you have anything, like, suggestions for a new series, anything you'd like to see me do in the game, or anything at all, be sure to leave them all down in the comments. I'm always hoping for feedback, comments, suggestions, anything, and just to hear from you guys is great. Until I catch you all next episode, those survivors and hunters, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.